What's up guys, this is Emmanuel. Today we're gonna do the oil change for the Honda Pilot. This is a 2017 Honda Pilot EXL. Let's do it. All right, guys, this is the oil that I'm gonna use today. This is a Pennzoil full synthetic oil. This is the Zero W20, okay? And I'm gonna use a Fram uh, filter. This is ultra synthetic filter, okay? The number is XG7317, okay? This is for the Honda Pilot. For the 2016 till I think 2020 on the pilot. Okay, so the synthetic oil you have to change it every 5,000 miles. Okay, but if you have a regular oil, it's every 3,000 miles. But I recommend you getting the synthetic, this is better than the other one, and you can change it every 5,000 miles. Okay, and also today we're gonna reset the maintenance uh, screen on the on the pilot, right? Okay, guys, this is my oil pan that I'm gonna use to for the oil change, but it's full of old oil. <laughs> okay, so we have to recycle this one first. Okay, so remember when you're done doing the oil change, take it to AutoZone to recycle the old old oil. So I think in any part store they have a recycle service okay so ask them first and then take the oil, oil over there and also i heard that this one uh, for the honda pilot you need five quarts and a half so i have to get one more quart for uh, my oil change okay so it's five and a half for the honda pilot Okay guys, the next step is to open the oil cap. This one right here. Open it before you remove the bolt for the oil change. So remove this one and leave it open like that. And then, let me see, under here, this is the bolt for the oil. To do the oil change and the filter <laughs> you can see it there that's the oil filter this plastic is covering the oil filter so i think it's very if i just remove this plastic okay so only have two clips two over there and one here okay so let's do that next I use this tool to remove the clips so the link is gonna be on the description below and had one two three clips like this and one screw under there okay okay guys that is removed you don't have to remove this one but if you do this you will have more space you can see it there yeah yeah so it's better if you just at least remove those and then put it like this you have a more space to remove the oil filter okay
Okay, now for the oil filter, because it's under the arm for the tire, I don't want to make a mess. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can put this uh, pan of uh, plastic under the filter and then remove the filter and the oil will get here, okay? <laughs> Let me try this. I don't know if it's going to work, but if you have something like this, a plate, maybe a little bit smaller, uh, shorter, it will work better but this is the only one I could find on the recycle <laughs> so I'm gonna try to use this one let's see if this thing works Okay, now it's all the way in, don't force it, let it go smooth, and don't put it too tight, hand tight, okay, don't, don't force it and put it super tight, because the next time you do the oil change, you don't want this to be super hard to remove, <laughs> okay, so now, let's put the plug, where is it, right here, this one, don't force it too, let it go smooth. Okay, okay don't forget to put the clips back on the cover. Uh, so now the next step is to add the oil in there. But uh, <laughs> that thing is very low and deep, so you need a funnel, the long one, but I don't have one. I, the one I have is short, like this one, see? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a water bottle, put it there, and then put this one on top of that. Alright, so I already put the 5 quarts of oil in there, but I made a little bit of mess, oh man. So next time I'm going to get that long uh, funnel, I'm going to put the link on the description below, the correct funnel, okay? I'm going to get one two for myself, and also on the next video we're going to clean the engine bay for this one, for my Corolla and this one okay we're gonna clean all this on the next video all right but for now let's put the cap back put it on an even position to see how much uh, more i need to add to check the oil level okay so let's do that next Alright guys, the oil chain is done, everything is closed, remember to tie to check the plug that is tight, the oil filter, 
and now it took uh, me 5.5 quarts of oil so five and a half okay and now let's reset the screen the maintenance oil maintenance on the screen all right let's see how to reset the maintenance so let's turn it on and then the screen here oh let me close this and then when we turn on this thing it shows that maintenance pass due uh, so let's see here menu back okay okay you have to go to the settings and then let's see vehicle maintenance i think in maintenance oil and oil filter oh reset oil filter and tire rotation remember to rotate the tires too so reset we like to rest okay will you like to reset the maintenance yes reset and it's done very easy <laughs> and then just press ok that's it go home and that's how to reset the maintenance screen and now turn it off ok guys that's the oil change for the Honda Pilot this will work for the 2016 Honda Pilot till 2020 this will work for those models, okay? Honda Pilot. Uh, all the links for all the products that I use today, they are gonna be on the description of the video, okay? Let me know what you guys think. Put in the comments. If you like the video, please like the video. That helps a lot. Subscribe for more videos like this one and see you on the next video.